talking about a positive, happy approach instead of the condemnatory eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a life for a life under the Old Testament. This isn't what we follow now. This is not uh, the way Jesus says to go. Jesus says, uh, I come to add, he's adding mercy, he's saying, to show mercy and, uh, you know, to love justice, but to love mercy as well. However, um, that's for a, a Christian to follow. Um, not in every aspect do we turn our cheek for instance the bible talks about in corinthians don't go to the law courts and take your brother to the law courts over small things so there are small issues but over the larger issues of course we as it's our duty to follow righteousness and judgment and bring sinners to repentance yes but to punish sinners it's sinners have to go to prison uh, they have to be brought to the law courts this is what the bible argues and, and says we got to do this isn't about justice against the um uh, in the in the realms of the world for law and order we have to have law and order they have to be soldiers they have to be killing uh, they have to be people executed and put to death by police and by soldiers if so, if a terrorist goes down the street with a gun terrorizing and killing innocent men women and children you're gonna shoot him you're gonna kill him that's that's the law of the gospels that's what the christian message teaches and look at it yourself if you've got any doubts romans chapter 13 it says magistrates do not bear the sword in vain they are not a terror to those who do good but a terror to those who do evil the word of god is alive it's true every part of it and if you follow and just take out one small part of the scriptures it says you rend it to your own destruction you know the same people are gossipers who go into women's houses and leading silly women astray talk about talks about in the bible these women laden with sins of course the point is the bible says right to rightly divide the word of truth and when you've got so-called people trying to become presidents of america who can't understand those basic points of the bible and they open their mouth they've opened a trap and the people know where they're coming from this is part of this new world order this is part of this national worldwide modernistic socialism which is basically a trying to play down the bible it argues for evolution it's evolutionary and evolutionist and it's arguing for the points of man which is humanism and it's all joined together it's communism disguised if you like with a court a new court over it and it's coming across the communist party in britain was originally called the communist party then they changed it to socialist and this is what's happening is without god they don't allow for God in their religion. They argue for evolution, for humanism, uh, they, that man basically is good. That's what they try to teach, and that he can be reformed. And the Bible says the heart of man is evil and desperately wicked. Who can know it in the book of Jeremiah? And in the New Testament, Jesus says, Out of the heart of man proceeds evil thoughts, adulteries, fornications, murders, thefts, covetousness, wickedness. I could go on and on. The point is, it's not that which is on the outside which pollutes, he says, Jesus says. It's not the washing of hands, it's the inside, what's in the mind which pollutes people. But then the Bible says that when you become a Christian, it says the Holy Spirit puts a new life in you. So this new life which you get, it, you get this new birth and you get this uh, fruition in your life. And it talks about being born uh, and said, yeah, Jesus said to Nicodemus that he said he came to him by night and he said, you may, except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of god and he says that which is born of the flesh is flesh now that is the, which the works of the flesh are manifest i said adulteries fornications murders thefts etc that's the flesh the works of the flesh the 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 fruit of the flesh is you know adulteries fornications the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering good you know such the point is the fruit of the spirit you're supposed to show in your life so that when you have a temptation comes your way it says those who will firmly have the word of god planted in their minds you know the, the temptation comes their way it sort of tries them and tests them but they pass through it there's a doorway of escape which god gives and they go through the doorway of escape and the bible talks about that uh, those who weren't rooted in the scriptures didn't concentrate on didn't think about meditate them and memorize them and believe them truly in their minds and hearts and receive them the bible talks about those people as being blown over with every wind of doctrine 